We got a good order for $11.50. It is three and a half miles, but I think it'll be a good initial test for the Emu Cruiser S. We got to go all the way down the hill and then all the way back up. It's going to be like seven fucking miles total. Let's go make that money. Good morning, Chick-fil-A. I, I got a Rico tea. Awesome, of course. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. Oh yeah, we just walked in and got it. Easy order. Let's go. We got a long ride. I'm leaving this scooter in its highest mode, mode three, just because one of the things about the cruiser is the giant battery. I'm not worried about battery at all. I'm probably only out here working two or three hours. I anticipate doing like a 20 to 30 mile shift, maybe less, maybe more, but I'm just not worried about battery because this battery is freaking huge. So, all right, we have a long trip south now. I want to really stay focused because even though I have a lot of experience on this model scooter, I still, you know, I haven't driven it for a while, so I really want to focus and not do anything stupid. I'm going to try to open up the scooter in, oh shit, in third gear. We're going a mile and a half though, we're going far. All right, we're up to 25. No, 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 buddy, no. All I'm getting out of it is 25 right now. I probably gotta go into the P settings to go any faster. It's a really great little scooter. To me, anything under, you know, 75 pounds is little. So, it's doing pretty good. The brakes are strong. Yeah. The lane split must be done. We gotta get to the left right over here though. Boom. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, we're making a left. We got like 1. 1. 1.7 miles straight down Crescent. This is a giant ride, but at least the payout is good. I have no doubt in my mind that if you were to buy this scooter, your first impressions are gonna be great. I mean, this thing rides amazing. For 1,350 bucks with the bonus code, of course, Electric Scooter Academy. It really supports me as a content creator when you use that. You're gonna like this scooter. I mean, it rides amazing. For nine inch tires especially, there's just enough suspension on it. it feels like a more expensive scooter for sure. There's a long ass ride we're taking down here. Here, and I kind of remember being here before, so this is going to be easy. I can't access the kickstand <laughs> with my foot. That's kind of a that's kind of a weird thing. All right, we got that done. That was a real easy order, really easy drop off. I guess we have a three mile ride back to Chick-fil-A. Actually, we'll make it like two and a half miles. Let's go to the uh, Target Center first. Oh, we're going the wrong way. All right, which way we gotta go? I lost my, oh there, we gotta go north, obviously. Man, I'm like not in my neighborhood. I lost my bearings, let's go. We're definitely out here riding with traffic with a move like that. All right, we've got still a little bit of distance before we get back to at least Target. I guess I decided to go to Chick-fil-A. Scooter's holding up really good. I like the way it hums. It doesn't seem to be uh, working too hard to get up like Modest Hills coming up La Brea. The top speed seems to be 26 or 27 miles per hour. Again, maybe I gotta go into the P settings. I'm not 100% sure what it's rated for. But regardless, let's, uh, let's get our next order. We gotta review the scooter and work for sure. Can't mess around out here. I grabbed another Chick-fil-A order to about the same place for like three miles for nine bucks. Again, not a great order, but no drinks. And we're testing the E-Move Cruiser S today as a part of work, so sort of getting paid for that if somebody buys one with the bonus code electric scooter academy you get 50 bucks off i get a little bit of a kickback honestly if one person uses that for this video it kind of makes up for the whole video but regardless what better job do i have other than 
making people happy with their food that they making people happy with the food that I give them and riding my scooter around all day like a little kid does on a bike voluntarily. All right, three miles though. It's another long ass trip, but we got plenty of battery left. I think we're not even down a bar. We're gonna have to go the long way around here. Morning, I got a Hector M. Thanks, dude. See you next time. Ah, oh, no drinks. We just walked in and got it. Hell yeah. Pretty similar to the last ride we took. Three miles south. Pays less, I think, but whatever. We're busy. That's all, all I want. Let's go. So nice out, fellow pioneers. The good time of year is coming. Hopefully the rain is behind us. And I know they forecasted some 80, 80 degree weather for next week. But I'm a warm weather human. I can't take the cold. It's nice that it's early in the morning right now and it's not freezing, so I'm happy about that. We still got a long ride in front of us now, found. Scooter's doing good. We're out here driving it in traffic. We still gotta go to Fairfax and make a left here. 1.6 miles south on Fairfax. Oh, we'll break 25 miles per hour going downhill. <laughs> Very, very smooth at this speed too. I mean, to me, this is, I know this is still a dangerous speed, but it feels slow to me. It feels pretty safe. I mean, what a great ride at its maximum speed though. I mean, how good is Audio Slave, right? I mean, it's rare that a band like that can come together with other artists and this, this band is awesome. Traffic is out of control. I got stuck on this side of the street. We're trying just to cross. Do it this way. All right, that was a lot of time just across this goddamn street, but we're close to the destination. That's good. But these streets are bad. I think this is an easy drop off. Anytime it's like a letter, it's usually an easy drop off. So this is it, 139. We're looking for C, so I'm just sure it's back here. Yeah. B and C up here, no? B, C, and C. All right, we got that shit done. Let's go. back to sit down and wait. I think those two orders covered like 18 miles. We got a 0.9 mile $7 coffee run from this place Javisa, which is right across the street. This should be a good one. This is actually our first Uber order of the day. We're happy to finally get an Uber order, so we got to go north on Highland here. Uh, yeah, it's, on, it's up here, so we figured just jump on the sidewalk. We bring the scooter in here, if I remember correctly. Where is it? Yeah, it's right here. We've been here before. We got stuck at this place, but I don't think it should be too bad this time of day. Thank you very much. How you doing, ma'am? I got a GGT for Uber, GG. Yeah. Thank you very much, you're the best. We know exactly where we're going. Uh, it says leave at the concierge. This place, normally you don't leave it at the concierge, but we'll see what we said. You, you guys will recognize this building. We're friends with the doorman. There's a, oh my God. Dude, I just hit my head on that. If I wasn't wearing a helmet, I'd be fucking blind. Holy shit. All right, be careful, dude. You got coffee in here, let's go. Oh, let's see. Fight this fucking traffic. Even gonna run this light. Boom, let's go. In a quarter mile, turn right on yeah, the, the, the drop off's right in front of us. Hopefully, we don't even have to go in the building. That'd be sweet. Your destination is on the right. You guys know this building. I'm pretty, I have a feeling this order is for somebody at the front because I've never gotten an order for this place. How's it going, buddy? Hey, do you have somebody 
at the front named Gigi because this one doesn't have any information on it. It's got like, it says just GGT with the leave it door, but no, no other information. Oh, it is 619, okay, cool. But which way? Okay, 619, how huh? simple is that? Interesting, the person's got the lucky address. <laughs> Yeah, this is really, this is just really unusual. There's no apartment number. The address is 1619 of the building, and the boss is telling me that 619 is the apartment as well. I don't know what that means, but he's a good guy. I'm sure he didn't steer us wrong. All right, we've been out here for an hour 48 minutes. We got three orders. I think we're at 28 bucks. Obviously, that's not good. We got 16 miles on the E-Move Cruiser. You know, I did not come out here with a full charge. I thought it had more charge than it did, but let's be quiet for this person. Yeah. Oh, hi, guys. Hi. Oh, I was going to say goodbye to my boy, but he went up there with the tenant. All right, let's get out of here. I guess we're gonna go to Chick-fil-A. As I approached the lot, I picked up a $8 and change, 2.7 mile Chick-fil-A. Looks like it should be a pretty easy one. Thought I'd just try to pull up and get it. Good morning. I have a Brian P, Brian P. I thought you might have it. You're the best, thank you so much. See y'all next time. Thank you. Oh yeah, we pulled the scooter right up to the door and got it. I had a feeling they were gonna be ready. All right, let's get out of here. Order number four, right? Yeah. Right. 2.3 miles from here. What was it, 2.7 total? So 2.3 from here. Not bad, not bad, let's go. 1.7 miles to Flores. We gotta make a left. This is the definition of a cruiser. Really out of here fighting traffic competently. That's what I like about a good scooter. Can I, can I go to war with traffic and be safe? I think this one's good. That's a little bit over two hours out here working. I might just call it a day. I got a lot of stuff to do today. So let's, um, I'm gonna leave the apps on. If I get an order, I'm gonna take it. If not, we're going home and I'll wrap it up for you guys. So we're approaching home on a pretty low battery. We're on the last bar, probably the last usable 20%. And these types of scooters, basically all scooters, when your battery gets low, performance is restricted. So here we are going up probably the second or third steepest hill in the neighborhood, and we're still getting like 12, 13 miles an hour up the hill. But what I like is I don't hear the motor whining. Listen, that's just a normal motor sound. It's not overworking. So I like how it basically slows down to conquer the hill so we won't burn out the controller. I don't know if that's because of the sine wave controller or because of a different BMS, but that's a good sign for the E-Move Cruiser S. Fellow pioneers, we're done with our first shift on the E-Move Cruiser S. It was really fun. It brought back a lot of memories. I did my first thousand deliveries on almost this exact same scooter. So even though we didn't make a lot of money, who knows? Maybe you'll use my bonus code, Electric Scooter Academy, to get 50 bucks off this scooter. It really supports me as a content creator. We did about 20 miles. This scooter has probably in, my guess is in third gear, it has 30 miles range, in second gear, 40, and in first gear, close to 50. But it's a legitimately big battery. You can also support the channel by liking, subscribing, commenting, asking questions. You know, I appreciate your support, kids. Let's get out of here. I gotta go home. I got stuff to do today. It's such a beautiful day out.